If you want to get unlimited flax, twigs, or any other plant in Enshrouded, this is the step-by-step -step farming guide for you. I'll show you the fastest method of flattening the ground, laying out plots, getting unlimited fertilized farming soil to grow your crops the fastest, how to lay out your crops efficiently, and each plant you get gives you 10 times the seeds back. So farming is well worth your time in Entrouded. Drop a like if that sounds interesting and let's get started. To start farming, you need to unlock the farmer. From where you start the game, you're going to want to go directly north across the broken bridge until you get to the ancient spire Springlands fast travel point. From there, you're going to be able to glide all the way to the north past that flame shrine until you reach the ancient vault of the farmer. Once you've freed the farmer, you can then talk to her and underneath production places, you will find the seed bed. Now you're going to want to build a few of these seed beds because each one is used to craft seedlings, which you can grow plants from. Now to get a plant seedlings, we just need to go out into the wilderness and pick up that plant. If you want the location of every single plant in the game, you can check out the Wikipedia link below in the description. But we can use that plant material to now make a seedling at the seedbed. So if we come over here to the seedbed and we press E to craft, you can then see at the bottom of the seedbed there's a bunch of recipes. Now as you pick up lots of different plant materials in the game, you'll unlock different recipes which will allow you to craft the seedling of that plant. So let's say for example we want to make flax seedlings so we can grow more flax. Every one flax that we have is going to make 10 seedlings which will then grow into 10 flax. This means that very quickly you'll be able to get unlimited flax. It tells us that we need water and flax to make this. So currently I have 25 flax but to get water you can come north of the cinder vault where you start the game and just here you'll find long keep. And right north of where I'm standing just here, there's actually a village well. And this is the earliest location in the game you can get water. Just press E to scoop the water. And now the game will add five water into your inventory. If you want to reset it, you can just exit the game, press play, go private server, and then go back to your world. And then just run back and go ahead and scoop some more water again. Now this is obviously pretty slow and there's a much faster way of getting water. So once you unlock the carpenter and you continue his quest line, he'll give you the ability to craft a water well and an improved water well. Now when you scoop water from the normal water well, it's only going to give you free water which isn't very much. Whereas the improved water well, if you go ahead and scoop water from here, it's going to give you five water. Now, eventually, if you carry on scooping water, it won't actually let you scoop any more water. So you can either exit the game and reset it, or a faster way is just to pick it up and then put it on the ground again like this. And then it just lets you scoop even more water. So if you keep picking it up and put it on the ground again, you'll get unlimited water by doing this. So pick it up again, put it on the ground, and then just carry on scooping water. And that's how you get unlimited water and enshroud it. So now you've got all this water, and every plant in the game requires water apart from nettles. We can now go back to our seed bed, and we can put the water in here, and now it's going to start producing flax seedlings. It takes five minutes per seedling. Now each plant bed will have the time it's going to take until the next thing is crafted above it. And if one says insufficient materials, you know that you can click on it and add the materials needed. I usually set up one seed bed per plant and just have them all crafting. So I have every single seedling ready to plant when I need it. So now we've got our seedlings ready to plant, we need to find the best soil to plant them in. But you may be wondering, what's the best soil surface to plant my plants in? So firstly, we have sand. And as you can see, most plants don't even grow in sand. Secondly, we have dirt and we can just plant it there. Then we have just farm soil, so we can plant a few here as well. And then finally, we have fertilized farm soil, so we can plant some there. And now I'm just going to stand here and watch them grow. So now the farm soil flax has started to bud, but you can see the fertilized flax is already ready to harvest. And the dirt version, I mean, it's not even started to flower yet. So fertilized soil is definitely worth getting. So next we need to go back to the farmer and ask her to craft us either farm soil or fertilized farm soil, which you will need to unlock later in the game by finding the following ingredients listed here, which can all be found in the deserts of the Nomad Highlands or on the wiki. But funnily enough, you only need to craft either one farm soil or one fertilized farm soil, and then it's actually possible for you to get unlimited soil by doing this. Now I'm going to take my farm soil, I'm going to get the construction hammer, press tab, terrain. 
just here. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to press control to select my fertilized farm soil. And now we want to select the bottom section where it says once we've selected that, we want to select this big sort of block. Once we've done that, we can just go ahead and place it on the floor here. And we only need to place a single block. What we're going to do then is we're going to get the rake and we're going to hold it down and just start spreading this out. Everything will level to your height and you're essentially just creating an infinite supply of fertilized farm soil. You can do this for as long as you like and as soon as you're ready, get your pickaxe out and just start hitting it. And now I've got back my fertilized farm soil and now I'm making even more than I started with. So just carry on doing this and you can make it as big or a larger area as you like. And this is how you get unlimited fertilized farm soil. We've already got 22 and we only started off with 10. Can you guys see this perfect farm? I'm going to show you exactly how to do this for yourself. It's very easy. So I want to continue my farm into this area over here. But as you guys can see, there's a slight hill here. Now, one thing you can do, which is the really, really slow way, is you can just go ahead and rake this area. But what will happen is that you'll kind of end up with a bit of a a bug situation where it doesn't really properly rake the hill and flatten it. So a much better way of doing that is just to craft any block. You want to press Alt and select the 4 meter foundation block, which you can see just here, which is this one. And then you want to place it so that the bottom is just touching where you want the area to be level. So if I put it here and I continue it out like this, all the way into this hillside, like so, and then I delete it, what that's going to do is make me a perfectly flat ground. So as you guys can see, the ground's now super flat. It goes right into the hillside and removes that area completely. So this is the fastest way to make the ground flat. So we're just going to go ahead and build out this until we flatten this entire area of ground. And by the way, when you destroy these again, you do get all your materials back, but I would recommend using, you know, whatever the cheapest block you can craft is. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and remove all of the blocks that we made. And now we have a perfectly flat farm. Now, one mistake you might make is you might get a foundation block and you might accidentally put it too low in the ground. So you might do this, for example. Then if I remove it, you can see now there's a bit of a hole here. Or over here, there's a really big hole. Don't worry about that though, we'll remove it in a moment. Also, you're going to end up with these ugly bits of wool over here. So in order to remove those, build like a retaining wall. And then it just makes it look a bit nicer than looking at a rock face. You can also continue it into the wall if you don't want to lose farm space like this. So now we got our flat field, we need some soil to actually put in it. So it looks like this one. So if I get my hammer and then I press tab on it, scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see there's an option here for terrain. Obviously, we're using fertilized soil, so let's pick that. So you want to place this just above the earth like this. And then you can, if you like, you can just carry on placing them like so. But that cost me one fertilizer each time I place it. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rake out. I'm going to hold down R to change the angle. So you can see you can change the angle which you actually rake at. And we want it to be flat. So make sure it's flat. And then we're going to stand on the fertilized soil. And we're just going to start raking it like this. And that's going to create an area of completely flat ground that we can then farm. So to fill that in, what we need to do is just manually place the earth on top of it like this to fill in the hole. And the same with this other hole we made around here. But apart from that, everything can be raked into place. Now there's two ways to plant in Enshrouded. Firstly, you can use the manual approach where you just click on the floor like this and then you go as far as you can to the left before it turns blue and then you press it. And then if you want to do the next row, you should plant it at a slight 45 degree angle to the other ones. And then like this, you can get a super efficient way of farming. However, on the bottom right, if you actually press X to use snapping, get a planting grid system. You can see I just slightly walked to the side and then I put another one here, another one here. It's so much faster to do this than manually place. So even though you end up getting less on a plot, you actually farm them and plant them a lot faster overall, as you guys can see. And if you mess up like this, just press E and you'll just put it back in your inventory. You don't actually lose anything by doing that. But yeah, that is how you plant everything. Now we just need to fill out this entire area and wait for it to grow. So now all of our flax has finished growing, we can go ahead and harvest it. Currently, I have nothing in my inventory 
we're going to go and see how much all of these seedlings actually give us in harvestable goods. So let's just go ahead and smash E to harvest them all. This is the easiest part. And do drop a like on the video if you guys have found it helpful so far. So in total here, we have 322 flax. Now, if each one of these gives us 10 more seedlings, that's going to give us 3,200 seedlings if I was to turn it all into seed. And you can do this with any plant in Entrouded. But if you want to get the best armor set in the game or the one I'm wearing, you can check out this video here. 